Okay, we're doing Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. This is gonna be my third playthrough. Let's start this son of a bitch. This is notable, this was the first, um... game that the Angry Video Game Nerd reviewed. Of course he hated it, but I mean, well, I mean, he's a character... and, you know... every point that he brought up was a valid point, but the whole thing is exaggerated, of course. Everybody knows this is a decent game. You come over here and buy a white crystal. You start off with 50 hearts. I'll need to get another 150. We'll go to the nearby woods and start fighting enemies. So I can get a better whip, and I can get the holy water. The only two enemies on this screen that you'll see, and this is the screen I'm going to be leveling on, are the wolfmen and the skeletons. The wolfmen, um... You gotta be careful, you come close to them and they start fucking jumping around. Oh yeah, what a fuck. What is he doing? God. This is a great game. I mean, it doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't help that people fucking lie to you in it. I mean, like, there are characters in the towns that will blatantly straight out lie to you. But if you know what to fucking do, it's pretty cool. It's got great music, too. Die. Come on, you ass! There we go. Yeah, I have 20. Alright, keep going. Sometimes, like, uh, well, not all the time, actually, but some people like to, when it's nighttime, to go into the town and fight the zombies in here. I don't bother, I just keep fighting out here. Here it goes, the change. What a horrible night to have a curse. I wonder what would be a good night to have a curse. I mean... Like, seriously, what would be a, like a... Like, oh, this is a great night to... Oh, shit. I forgot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta hit him twice now. Like, oh, man, this is a great night to have a curse. I'm so glad I got this curse tonight. It's great. So I was unfamiliar with the story. This is the sequel to Castlevania in which... Character I'm playing as Simon Belmont defeated Castlevania. Uh, well, the castle is called Castlevania. Defeated Dracula in his castle, and um, he's found that he's been cursed through the wounds received in that battle. And for some reason, he's got to find five pieces of Dracula's body. More on that later and uh, bring them to the ruins of Castlevania and then burn them, which will cause Dracula's ghost to appear and then you have to kill Dracula's ghost. There's actually three endings to this game. Um, I always get the worst ending where Simon dies. All the text is messed up. And the reason I always get the worst ending is because I like to get all the items and it's uh, what ending you get is based on how fast you get through the game. 80 hearts. We're doing pretty good. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, I mean, uh, you have to collect Dracula's... Whoa. His tooth. Well, actually, it's the nail. I think it's supposed to be the tooth, and then um, they changed it to the nail because they translated it wrong. I based that on the fact that in Symphony of the Night for PlayStation, it's a tooth. That seems like more of a significant thing. Like, what, his fingernail? That's fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> his heart, his eye, his rib, and his ring, which is weird because the ring is not a body part. You know. So that's fucking stupid. Manual says, um... <laughs> Castlevania manuals are always... They try to be funny, but they're not. It says, the ring has been in the Count's family for centuries. Then again, the Count has been in his family for centuries. <laughs> You're a regular Margaret Cho. It's fucking stupid. I'm gonna take it the Thorn Whip. Not only will it be stronger, but it actually has a better range. Man, I got kind of owned before when I got trapped by those enemies. See, one thing about this is the invincibility period of um, when you get hit is very small. So, wow, you sh fucking hopping son of a bitch. Shit the fuck. Ass. There we go. Duh. Ah, damn it. Come here, you cock. I can't believe I fucking died. There's a lot of, like, 
fucking noise. And I'm like, what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> I turned around and got my ass kicked. There you go, the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. It's kind of graphic. It's like the sun comes up and pones the darkness. I got 124, I'm very close here. Uh, I don't know. Those little tiny hearts are worth like two. And there's the half a big heart at night, and the, then there's the really big hearts, but only the stronger enemies will drop them. One thirty six. I love the bass line, it's like suck my cock and my cock is big and you'll put it in your mouth and suck it in your mouth. It feels pretty good. You're a dirty whore. <laughs> I can't do that any longer. There uh, you got. Ah, uh, well. Two more hearts and I'm good. Come on, drop a heart, you son of a cock. So weird to find hearts as money. I mean, in most games, hearts are life. And in the Castlevania game, they're actually usually ammunition for your sub-weapons. And there actually are a few weapons in this that use hearts. But, oh, I'm leveled up. But generally speaking, it's money in this, which is weird. It's like, if you imagine these merchant guys, they all look pretty evil. Like, look at them. And they're like, I need your hearts. One to buy holy water? Yeah, fuck yeah. How about some fire water? <laughs> I love the music in this game. This game just has great music. Down with these motherfuckers. Buy a thorn whip? It automatically just, you know, uh, replaces your old whip. So you don't have to get the... You're supposed to press the center of the control pad to uh, get the arrows to appear. That's what it actually says in the manual. I mean, that's impossible to do on a keyboard. Like, how do you, how do you press the center of the control pad? So I just, like, press all the buttons at once, and that usually does it. See, so right plus left doesn't do anything weird in this. Dun, 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 dun. So you won't see me, like, glitch out and curse. I mean, I'm gonna curse plenty. I mean, fuck shit, dick, ass, cunt. You know, I mean, that's what I do. Uh, anyway, we can move on now. Dun, dun, dun. Die. Eat my shit. Fuck you, merman. Dun, dun. Suck my butt. Dun, 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 dun. I love the graphics. I mean, they're so improved over the original game. Such detail put in the backgrounds. This is supposed to be five years after the first one. You saw that a little there. One thing that this game does suffer for is a lot of slowdown. Alright, I'm gonna need more money here, so I'm just gonna, like, hang around here and... If I go down, there's a town. Eat my shit and balls. Come here. What a horrible night to have a curse. How is this for a curse? Fuck. Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit balls, cunt piss. <laughs> There's a curse for you. There's a couple of them. Hey, Hesima, yeah. This time, actually, we'll go to the town, though, right? If it's just so much more stable than having to jump around and chase these guys and worry about that shit. So, we'll go down this way. Uh, Transylvania countryside is weird. I mean, you got these underground caves that lead... I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a staircase leading to an underground cave that leads to a town. What the fuck is that? Oh, oops, got a little too close. What the fuck is that all about? I mean, I'm going to break the video here. We'll see you for part two.